let's graph this uh, inequality. 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 6, and we have y is less than 2x plus 3. The first step is to actually rewrite this using our basic line equation. So if I take this first equation, I'm going to rearrange it such that 3y is on one side. I'm going to move the 2x over on the other side so we switch the signs. When you subtract both sides, we end up with that. And this is a plus 6 that stays on the same side. And then we divide everything by 3. So we get y is greater than or equals to negative 2 thirds x, and then plus 6 over 3, which is the same thing as 2. So this is a nice, uh, similar to a line equation, except we have a greater than or equal to sign. What does that mean? So if we have a nice graph, this is the slope. The coefficient of x is a slope. Negative slope means it's going downhill from left to right. This is the y-intercept, positive 2 means we're going up 1, 2. This is 2. It's going to go through this point here. So a negative 1 slope is a 45 degree this way. So negative 2 thirds means it's a little bit steeper. So I'm just going to guesstimate around here. We're going to say that this is here is the line. This is the line y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2. But for us, we're thinking about the actual region that's above it. y is greater than means above it. So when we're above it, we're going to shade in the possible solution region. The solution region is, is an actual area, which extends on to infinity. So this whole yellow area is legit. OK, so we have that as our boundary line. And we have the greater than sign representing the actual area that's above this line. And let's try another line now. Let's try y is less than 2x plus 3. Fortunately, this y is already isolated, so I know this is my slope. And this here is my y-intercept. So y-intercept of positive 3 means it's definitely going to cross over here, where the y-value is 3. And a slope of 2 means it's going to be steep, left to right. It's going to go uphill. Slope of 1 is about 45 degrees. A slope of 2 is a little bit more steep. So let me just try uh, guessing around here. Let me just try that again, around here. Now this one here, I'm going to actually uh, make it dashed. So I'm making this line a little bit dashed. The reason why this line is dashed is because we have a less than sign, not a less than or equal to sign. So we don't actually include the, the solutions actually on the line. So when we say that y is less than, we're only looking at the actual values that's below it. So we're looking at the, the values over here below this line. <coughs> so the only actual true solution that satisfies both uh, graphs here, both uh, inequalities, is found in the overlapping area, which is the yellow and the uh, shaded in region here.